Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today on Ubix Toys, I'm unboxing a doll presented during the 2022 Integrity Toys Stay Tuned event. You can watch my previous video about the doll's release. Her name is Della Rue from the East 59th line and she's titled Burn Champagne Part 1. She was unveiled with a second doll from this mini capsule collection titled Legacy and designed by Chris Stokel. They are really beautiful. I decided to participate to the Della and Victoire Lottery and I was lucky enough to win both of them. You will have recognized it of course. These dolls are largely inspired by the hit TV series Dynasty. Della is inspired by the Dominique Devereux character and Victoire by Alexis Carrington Colby. Here is the iconic scene from a Dynasty episode that fits the theme of this collection. It's burned. Is it? The champagne was obviously frozen in the bottle at some point. If the champagne is too burned for your taste, Miss Devereux, don't drink it. The caviar, I trust, is not burned. I really wouldn't know. This is Ossetrova, and I prefer Petrosian Beluga. Each doll is a limited edition of 750 pieces worldwide, at the price of $165. Okay, let's take her out of the shipper box. You can see that the new packaging made especially for this stay tuned event is spot on the theme with the color bars and the fuzzy TV screen you'll see inside. I like it. Now, let's open it and take a closer look at this Della. And here she is. So, she's the third official incarnation of Della Rue, and she looks gorgeous. She shares the same 2.0 health sculpt as Victoire Rue. Her skin tone is F or black and her hair color is raven. I love this screening, but yes, she has almost the same look as all the previous versions of Della. Silver eyeshadow, red lips, curled hair. It had become super repetitive, but she's a great doll though and I'm glad to have her. Her eyelashes are hand applied. Her body type is East 59 1.0 with high heels foot sculpt. Here's the Certificate of Authenticity. And strangely, it's neither numbered nor named. Apparently, all the dolls of the event would not be numbered. That's weird, isn't it? The base of the doll stand. and the pole of the stand. The base is made in clear acrylic with the Stay Tuned logo on it. Let's check out the accessory box. But first of all, let me say something. The lack of accessories is really surprising for this high price point. Everybody noticed that. A few years ago, we had East 59th gift sets for only $145 with different mix and match fashion and lots of accessories, whether it was makeup or cocktail drinks. But sadly, the financial crisis is here today and all around the world, and even for the doll market, apparently. Here is the alternate pair of grip hands. A pair of golden high heeled shoes. A set of jewelry with a pair of earrings and a bracelet. And a faux fur wrap in a white color. Now, let's take her out of the box. I will always love this face. 
The Victoire sculpt is really beautiful. I find that the colour in her face turns a little red compared to the rest of her body. Let me know in the comments if your Della has the same issue. Her long nails are painted in the same colour as her lipstick. Let's remove the hairnet. Her hair looks very nice and styled in a half-length curled look. There is a lot of product in it to keep the style in place. Now let's take a closer look at the accessories. She comes with an alternate pair of grip manicured hands. The pair of golden sling back heels. The set of jewellery composed of oversized earrings with faux diamond stone accents and a matching oversized cuff bracelet with faux diamond stone accents too. She comes with a dramatic floor length faux ermine wrap in a white colour. It's very long and very soft to the touch. Let's take off her wrap to discover the dress. She's wearing an extravagant evening dress featuring a floor-length white satin skirt with a golden micro sequin deep v-neck halter top. And the matching long-sleeved satin colorless evening blazer with golden micro sequin trim. And to finish the look, a golden belt. This outfit looks like the one worn by Aurelia Grey titled Pink Champagne. I would have preferred an outfit that looks more 80s, more extravagant maybe. Let's see this outfit in detail. The dress is in one piece. And she's wearing some flesh color panties too. Here she is, totally dressed with all her accessories. I added a champagne flute that I had in stock from a meteor doll, because she deserves it too.
This silhouette could be inspired by the sketches of Nolan Miller, best known for his work on the long-running 1980s series Dynasty. And here are my two other Della. They all look fabulous. Don't hesitate to watch my previous unboxing videos of them. Which one do you prefer? Let's place the doll on the stand so we can look at all the details. So, my opinion on her is quite positive. I find her gorgeous and very glamorous. But the next version will have to be very different for me to buy her. I must say that I'm a bit disappointed because of the price, which is higher than earlier this year. There are very few accessories like I said. According to the theme, we would have expected at least a bottle or a glass of champagne. No? And a bag or even a cigarette. And I really, really would have liked to know the reason for that. So, my friends, what do you think of the third incarnation of Della? Don't hesitate to comment! I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing of Della Rue Burnt Champagne Part 1. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Stay safe. See you very soon for the next unboxing video. Bye for now.